Less than two weeks ago, Dr. Ford publicly accused me of committing wrongdoing at an event more than 36 years ago. I denied the allegation immediately, categorically, and unequivocally. Uh, it's all fake news. It's phony stuff. It didn't happen. All four people allegedly at the event have said they recall no such event. Her longtime friend, Ms. Kaiser, said under penalty of felony that she does not know me and does not believe she ever saw me at a party ever. He has two little girls and a wife, and he's being accused of a sex crime by someone who has zero evidence it happened, and multiple witnesses who say it didn't. And now we're saying that this guy has to prove that he's innocent? It was a group of opponents who got together, sick people, and they put that crowd together. Since my nomination in July, there's been a frenzy on the left to come up with something, anything, to block my confirmation. Shortly after I was nominated, the Democratic Senate leader said, so I will oppose him with everything I've got. You have replaced advice and consent with search and destroy. This is a case in which this leads, this dirt was searched for by staffers of members of this committee, was then leaked to the media, and this committee and this body validated it and displayed it at prime time over our entire nation. Your brilliance shining light under this, speaking your truth is nothing short of heroic. This is a service. I want you to know that your courage in coming forward has given countless Americans the strength to face their own life-shattering past and begin to heal their wounds. And so I want to thank you. I want to thank you for your courage, and I want to tell you I believe you. So far, Senate leaders are failing that test, prejudging the outcome of the hearing. You're looking for a fair process? You came to the wrong town at the wrong time, my friend. It is a high-tech lynching. And it, would, it just seemed to me then, when these allegations came forward, that you would want the FBI to investigate those claims and clear it up once and for all. Are you willing to ask the White House to authorize the FBI to investigate the claims that have been made against you? Right now, turn to your left in the front row to Don McGahn, counsel to President Donald Trump. Ask him to suspend this hearing and nomination process until the FBI completes its investigation of the charges made by Dr. Ford and others and goes to bring the witnesses forward and provides that information to this hearing. So stop, the, stop the clock. The next person that refers to an FBI report as being worth anything obviously doesn't understand anything. FBI explicitly does not, in this or any other case, reach a conclusion. Period. Period. If the FBI doesn't reach a conclusion, they would give you a couple 302s that just tell you what we said. They say he said, she said, and they said. Period. So when people wave an FBI report before you, understand, they do not, they do not, they do not reach conclusions. If you wanted an FBI investigation, you could have come to us. What you, what you want to do is destroy this guy's life, hold this seat open, and hope you win in 2020. You've said that. And this has been about raw power. When you see Sotomayor and Kagan, tell them that Lindsay said all of them because I voted for them. I would never do to them what you've done to this guy. This is the most unethical sham since I've been in politics. You sowed the wind. For decades to come, I fear that the whole country will reap the whirlwind. This is going to destroy the ability of good people to come forward because of this crap. Your high school yearbook. And, and what you're saying, if, if I understand it, is that the allegations by Dr. Ford, Ms. Ramirez, and Ms. Fetnick, Swetnick um, are, are wrong. Yeah, that, that is emphatically what I'm saying. Emphatically. 
The Swetnick thing is a joke. That is a farce. Would you like to say more about it? No. Okay. <laughs> That's it. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.